Hi all. Okay, this is just a short tutorial on how to uh, create three nested objects in Blender and then we'll export them to use for in the future for importing into MATLAB. Okay, so let's start out by just reverting back to the factory default settings and we end up with a cube in the, in the middle and I guess I'll move the cube up a little bit so that it's not so that it's up off the surface not really that important but let's do that anyway and I'll scale the cube let's scale it up um, how about maybe we'll use the control key so that I can snap scale it and maybe I'll scale it in the Z direction a little bit S Z and if I hit the N key I can see the uh, actual object size and so what do you got 3.4 how about by five. Okay, and so now if I want it to be right on the surface, I'd want its elevation to be 2.5. Okay, so now I have a cube resting right on the surface plane. All right, so let's make this a little bit more of an organic looking shape. So one way we can do that is by going into edit mode and we can subdivide the cube automatically already selected so we'll subdivide it once twice how about three times so we have all of these subdivision of the surface of the cube <clears throat> now we can go back into object mode and we can apply a subdivision surface to this uh, to this object and stretch this out so we can see subdivision surface add the modifier subdivision surface okay and so what that tends to do is just make it curvier make, make the edges curve which is a little bit better for our current mesh generator if I can increase view to three it makes it smoother all right for now let's just make it two a view of two and now I have sort of a soft cube that looks good how about apply so once I've applied the subdivision surface then it's fixed. If I go back into edit mode, you see I have a very refined surface. Okay, so that looks reasonably good. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is create another shape. So let's go ahead and create another shape and position it so that it's sort of inside this shape. And we'll start out by picking a shape that we want to use. Let's go to object mode and let's go to add and what should we add this time? How about we add to this a cylinder? And it's going to add it right at the 3D cursor. And I'm going to move it up like this. Okay, so now I have a cylinder like that. And it's positioned in this orientation. And it, it, by, by default, it's automatically centered, which is reasonably nice it's, it sounds sounds pretty copacetic and I'm going to make it a little bigger so let's scale it and now we're going to also subdivide this surface um, it, sh it already has a lot of facets if I go into edit mode you can see we already have quite a few facets so so when I go to, su to subdivide the surface I don't have to I don't have to pre-subdivided like I did the cube. I don't think. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, so subdividing the surface. I've turned the cube into sort of a, or, once again, sort of an organic shape. Okay, so that looks reasonable. So now I have two objects. And now let's add another object. What should I add this time? Um, let's add a a um how about, I'd like to add something a little more complex, so let's see if I add an ellipsoid, a metaball ellipsoid. And it added it out here because I have the 3D cursor positioned out there. And a metal ball is a different kind of an object. I probably shouldn't even have used it, I probably should. We'll see what I can do. So I'm going to reposition this. The easiest way to reposition it often is just to type in the 
the coordinates. Zero, zero, and I can I can move it down using the z-axis. So okay, so now I have a meta ball object inside this object. I have three different objects. Okay, and they're all you know we use Blender basically to position the objects. In this case, um, you know if you were if you were positioning an implant, you might have a pelvic bone structure, and then you'd be positioning an implant and getting everything into position. And then we have to output them. Now, first with this metaball object, I have to convert it. I have to convert this object to a mesh. Okay, so now it's not a metaball anymore. It's just a mesh. If I hit the Z button, it has mesh properties. Okay, so now what I have to do is I need to output these meshes at, in, in an OBJ format so that I can read them into the MATLAB polygon analyzer. Okay, poly, poly to voxel uh, function. So, but first, before I do that, I'm going to have to change these, the objects have a lot of quadrilaterals. I'm going to need to change those to triangles because the poly to voxel algorithm only works on triangles. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. It's very easy. I'm in edit mode. I select the object that I'm interested in. Let's go to, let's select A, A, okay. I hit A twice. A once deselects. A twice selects all. I'm going to say mesh, faces, quads to tries. That's it. Now I'm going to select the other object, which is a cylinder. I'll go up here and I'll select it here. Do the same thing. Object. I'm sorry. Um, I have to be in edit mode. Oh, I haven't applied the subject, the, the modifier. I have to apply that. Okay, so I better be in object mode. Apply the modifier. Okay. So now I have a mesh. <coughs> edit mode. And mesh. Faces. Quads to tries. And the same goes for the meta ball. The meta ball is already a mesh. Object mode, edit mode, A, just make sure A, mesh, faces, quads to tries. Okay, you see how I converted that into triangles? Okay. So now everything is a triangle, all of our objects are triangles and we're ready to export them. So, okay, now that we have our, our three objects all drawn up, um, one thing we have to do, we might as well delete these, the light and the camera, we, we don't need those right now. And then we need to move this, these three objects into the, um, into the positive court, or the positive quadrant. Okay, so I hit the A button to select them all. Slide them over this way, slide them over this way. That should be good enough. And now all we have to do is output this to an OBJ file. So we'll go ahead and do that. File, export, OBJ. And there's an important thing you have to do here though before you output it. And that is you have to turn off this rotate 90 degrees. Okay, don't know why it does that, but you have to turn that off. And that's it. I'm gonna select it OB1, I'll call it OB1.OBJ, export OBJ. Okay, that should do it. Now what we have to do is simply go to MATLAB and import the OBJ file and then convert it to volumetric objects using our volumetric poly to vox converter. Okay. We'll do that in the next little demo or tutorial.